Hi, I'm Eli Plaskett with Gardner Business Media. I'm here with Michael Gukas from Gardner Intelligence. He's the Chief Economist and the Director of Analytics. So tell us about the Gardner Business Index for June 2019. So for June, the GBI recorded 50.8, which suggests uh, modest growth for the month. Uh, we've seen a trend in, in slowing growth really since uh, the middle of 2018. But so far, you know, the GBI has been supported by four of its six components. And so the four that have lifted the index have included new orders, production, supplier deliveries, and employment. Tell us about supplier deliveries and production. They're kind of connected, aren't they? That's right. So for the last several months, what we've seen is that supplier deliveries and production have both been growing at roughly the same rate. And we believe that that's a very healthy sign. Uh, prior to that, in, in the second half of 2018, we saw supplier deliveries really shoot up and they were growing uh, much faster than production was. Part of that was because there was such a bulge or a surge in new orders in the very f early months of 2018. And so what we saw was the upstream supply chain was trying to play catch up with uh, that new orders demand. We were concerned, of course, that as uh, those upstream uh, suppliers finally did catch up that we would have a glut of inventory at that level. And what we're seeing from the data suggests that hopefully we won't see that. Okay, so the upstream suppliers have adapted to that huge period of growth and now they're in a more constant uh, relationship with production. Yeah, I think what we're seeing is level setting essentially so that the amount of inventory coming into the job shops and the other manufacturing shops is where it needs to be. It's consistent with uh, the needs rather than being, uh, say, too much or excessive, uh, causing a, a glut of inventory in the shops. So new orders have been growing consistently, but exports have been contracting. How is that possible? Yeah, so in our index, you'll see that we have two components that are tracking orders, and one is, is total new orders, which we just call new orders. The other part is called exports, and that's just measuring the foreign demand for, for manufactured goods. Uh, what we've seen since roughly the time that tariffs took place back in mid-2018 is a contraction in exports. However, the fact is, is that our total new orders data is still expanding. Uh, so that tells us that the spread is being uh, managed by an increase in uh, domestic orders. Uh, if, for example, we had flat domestic orders and we had a contraction in export orders, then our, our net total new orders would be contracting, but that's not what we're seeing in the data. So somewhere that gap has to be filled and, and the only place where it can be filled is in domestic new orders. Thanks a lot for sitting down with us, Michael. If you want to learn more about the economics of manufacturing, go ahead and visit GardnerIntelligence.com.